So following chemical energetics questions related to uh, drawing the hair cycle and the question states that the that you're given the following uh, enthalpy changes you're given a reaction iodine gaseous uh, remember the states are important so there's a reaction happening and enthalpy change is given and then there's another reaction where iodine solid is getting converted into iodine gaseous molecules and the enthalpy change for that is also given and you're being asked what is the standard enthalpy change of formation of iodine trichloride icl3 solid so he's talking about the standard enthalpy change of formation of icl3 solid now remember the definition of the standard enthalpy change of formation is that one mole of icl3 solid has to be produced from its constituent elements which in this case uh, the elements are iodine and they should be in the standard state so remember iodine is a diatomic molecule and it is uh, solid at room temperature so it should be in its standard state plus the other element is going to be cl2 and uh, cl2 is also chlorine is also diatomic plus it's uh, gaseous at room temperature so so this is the reaction i need to keep this as one mole so i need to balance the equation accordingly so if i try to balance this uh, reaction uh, there's going to be half i2 and 3 by 2 or 1.5 cl2 molecules only then uh, uh, would I get one mole of ICL3 solid. So this is the reaction and I need to find out the enthalpy change for this reaction. So the enthalpy change uh, and this would be the enthalpy of formation of ICL3 solid. So this is what is unknown. This is what I need to find. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a Hess cycle. I need to uh, create another path. Remember Hess law states that one path is uh, the energy changes of one path are, are, are the same as the energy changes of another path as, the re as long as the reactants and the products are the same so so these are my reactants and these are my products i'm going to start from my reactants and i'm going to create another path and the energy changes of that path would uh, be equal to the energy change of this path over here so let's uh, start uh, drawing that uh, and i have these two reactions their enthalpy changes are known so i'm going to start uh, drawing the hair cycle now so this uh, these here are my reactants one thing I can do is uh, I can pick the second reaction first and you can see in this second reaction iodine solid is getting converted into iodine gas and enthalpy change is given. Now we also have iodine solid so what I can do is I can convert that iodine solid instead of keeping that as solid I'm going to convert that into iodine gas and uh, 3 by 2 Cl2 would remain as it is because I'm not, I'm not, doing, I'm not touching or doing anything with the chlorine molecules. So they're not taking part in the reaction. So I'm writing them as the products uh, as it is. So the only change that's happening in this path over here is that solid iodine got converted into gaseous iodine. And remember, we just have half moles of iodine. So uh, I need to correct this equation over here. Half iodine solid is getting converted into half iodine gas. So the enthalpy change would also be divided by two because we're only working with half iodine. So the enthalpy change for this reaction over here is 38 divided by 2. That's the enthalpy change. Iodine solid got converted into iodine gas. And now let's look at the second reaction over here. The first thing we need to do is remember we are only dealing with half iodine and 3 by 2 C. So I, what I need to do is I need to divide this equation by 2. If I divide the equation by 2, it's going to be half I2, 3 by 2 Cl2 and there's just going to be 1. ICL3 solid and, th and the enthalpy change would also be divided by 2. Now this equation would perfectly fit with our reaction. Uh, remember we are forming ICL3 solid and if you if you uh, look at this reaction over here, this path over here, what you would notice is that one mole of ICL3 solid, so that's, let's underline that, that's uh, one mole of ICL3 solid. We also have one mole of ICL3 solid. And it's being formed from uh, chlorine, 3 by 2 cl uh, chlorine. So it's formed by 3 by 2 chlorines and half I2 gas. So this path over here is exactly the same as the first reaction. The enthalpy change uh, is given as minus 214 divided by 2. So look carefully. One mole of ICL3 solid got formed from half I2 gas and 3 by 2 Cl2 gas. So that's exactly what's happening. Half I2 gas reacting with 3 by 2 Cl2 gas and it's forming one mole of ICL3 solid. So the enthalpy change is given. And now we have successfully created this path, this other path that can be followed. So the enthalpy of formation is going to be equal to this other path and we can 
write the equation that the enthalpy of formation, the unknown, is basically equal to this other path, which is 38 divided by 2 plus minus 214 divided by 2. So I'm going to go from this point to this point first. That's 38 divided by 2. And then from this point to this point, that's minus 214 divided by 2. And the answer that I'm going to get is going to be, let's try and calculate that. It's going to be equal to, this would give you option B. It's going to be equal to minus 88 kilojoules per mole.